Good morning, Greensville Elementary. This is the Bulldogs News for Wednesday, November 13, 2019. My name is Alexis. And I'm Bailey. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's news and Bulldog events. Remember to be prepared. Every day, act responsibly, keep safe, and respect others. Show your caring, giving attitude. November's award, Minute to Win It Games. Lost and found. Here are the lost and found items that we have. We have a hat. Put your name or initials in your item so if they get lost, they can be returned to you. Lunch today will be nacho grande or turkey and cheese or chicken nuggets, corn, strawberry, applesauce, toss salad, and milk. Thursday's breakfast will be cereal, breakfast bites, applesauce, cup, grape cheese, and milk. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 29. Happy birthday to Mrs. Hardesty and Nevea Guida Smith. If we announce your birthday on the morning news, please stop by the school store for your birthday pencil. Wellness Wednesday. Here's Miss Pratt for Wellness Wednesday. Good morning and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Did you know that November is Diabetes Awareness Month? with tomorrow, Thursday, November 14th, being World Diabetes Day. And in support of those people, and especially kids living with diabetes, we are asking students and staff to wear blue on November 14th. Blue is the color of diabetes awareness. So try to find something blue to wear tomorrow in support of people living with diabetes. Some quick diabetes facts. Diabetes happens when someone's body does not have enough insulin. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Children and young people usually get type 1. People who get diabetes when they are older usually get type 2. More young people are getting type 2 diabetes because they are overweight or obese. Why a person <clears throat> gets type 1 is complicated. But we do know it occurs partly due to the genes the child gets from their parents and that, that maybe then the child gets a viral infection that in a few people triggers the body's immune system to not only attack the germs, but also healthy body cells, like the ones in the pancreas, the organ in our bodies that creates insulin. Even though the viral infection triggers the damage, you can't catch diabetes from someone. Kids with diabetes watch what they eat, they check blood sugar levels, they have insulin injections every day or wear what's called an insulin pump, exercise, and have as much fun as other kids. If you have a friend or family member with diabetes, they want you to be understanding that sometimes they may be a bit tired or grumpy when they have low blood sugar and need to eat on a regular schedule. 
Next thing I want to talk about is the success of our food drive. Yay! Our food drive ended on Monday and we collected 345 items to donate to the food pantry here in Grantsville. Mr. Bill and I counted them up, boxed it up, and Mr. Bill delivered them to the, the local church where it was received by two local women who were so very, very grateful for our efforts. Um, we would have probably had closer to 400 items, but remember, when you donate the food, we have to have items that are in date that are not expired. Otherwise, they won't accept them at the pantry. But 345 items is super, super great, and I'm so proud of our efforts. And this is part of our community wellness goal. So well done, you guys. Um, to break it down, we had pre-K who gathered 43 items, kindergarten had 53 items, first grade had 45 items, second grade had 58 items, third grade had 38 items, fourth grade had 68 items, and fifth grade had 40 items. So as you can see, fourth grade overall was the winner in gathering the most items to be donated. So your number one prize should be a feeling of that you did a really nice thing for people in our community. That should be your number one. And number two, I'm gonna to leave to your teachers to reward you somehow with maybe a little extra uh, recess or some other wellness related activity um, that they deem okay. <laughs> Thanks again, I'll see you next week. Quote of the day. Today's mighty oak is just yesterday's nut. That held the run. David Icke. Tune in Thursday for more Bulldog news. And